Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here in Morn Castle. Uh, just at the southern, well, kind of southwestern corner here of the Weeping Peninsula. And kind of, I imagine, the last place we actually have to explore here on the Weeping Peninsula. We've gone pretty systematically, pretty methodically through this area. Uh, found a lot of really cool stuff. Definitely a lower level area than, um, than where I was previously, but... Definitely some good loot to be had. Uh, an early visit to the Weeping Peninsula could prove to be extremely useful. Here are my stats. Go ahead and pause it there if you want to take a look any further. Now, I'm exactly where I left off. However, I did do something on a different character. Another character that's just kind of following along in Silverius' footsteps. Not exactly, but just kind of exploring areas that I've already gone to um, and feel like. I've done a really good job at exploring those, and I found something. Something that I theorized in previous videos, and that is you can absolutely farm rune arcs from rats. I went to the, what is it called, is it Earthbore? Earthbore Cave. So just at the northern area, the kind of north central Weeping Peninsula, there's a bunch of rats that you, well, fall down into, and I farmed them. I did three rounds. I got one rune arc. So it's not a great drop rate, but the fact that they can be farmed is actually really, really huge. So, hear a lot of commotion around me. Uh, how are my flasks looking? One crimson and one more cerulean. Oh boy. Right. That could be problematic. I've gotten some really good suggestions on which magic I should be using, especially since I spend a lot of my time within melee range. And that is the carrion slicer. Uh, which I have used a little bit before, but not... Oh! Not much. So... Oh! I thought maybe I could sunlock you. Oh! The scream! Um... Oh my gosh! So these... Are these demi-humans? Are these just kind of an advanced form of demi-humans? Ooh. Got some, uh, <laughs> frame sync issues out there with the uh, flyer. But look what they've done to the soldiers here at Morn Castle. That is... That is grotesque. But yeah, I think... Where did I come from? Now, I came from over there, so did I not go in that door? I don't... Oh, gosh. I can't remember. Oh, no. Um, but anyway, Carrying Slicer, it's a low FP cost spell that swings a magical sword very, very quickly. And that may be something that I want to test out. All right. Now, do not be fooled because we have that one guy yelling. There are definitely two waiting kind of in the wings. Tell you what. I think. Not even going to use a mighty shot. Just a regular. Oh, actually. A couple of arrows. Oh, nice headshot. There we go. Uh, You know what? Might as well get the headshot with you, too. 184. So there's a really cool mechanic that I'm not seeing talked about, and that is when an enemy is undetected. And I, I have mentioned this before, but you actually get a bonus to the damage, even if it's not a critical. So even if it's not like a headshot or a, a backstab or anything like that, you do actually get a nice bonus to the damage. So that was 184 with a headshot because he was unaware. Whereas the other ones, let's see if I get another one. No. Well, he's flying now, so that wasn't a headshot. But I think I was getting 134, so that's pretty significant. Okay, so that courtyard's nice and clear. This area actually looks smaller than I thought. So... I'm going to be able to go down onto that rampart right there with that ladder. Just taking it kind of slow. Oh, that crescendo was was really, really poorly timed. <laughs> um, he's just attacking a wall? Oh, no, there's a soldier there. <laughs> Oops, I just don't actually see his uh, his health bar. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, let's not drop down just yet. Grab some smoldering butterflies. Can I get up onto the wall here? Oh gosh, 
I probably can, but I also don't see a reason to. Oh, hello, Sight of Grace. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I'm not gonna rest. I'm not gonna rest just yet. I know that I need Cerulean Flasks, but I could always swap to my daggers. Oh, I think I've just committed now to going lower behind the castle. Does this have... This does not actually have a guidance with it. Got some spirit jellyfish down there. Possibly a... Nah, it's just another one of these demi-humans here. Okay, can drop down there. There is a shiny. I want to grab that, but first, anything... Are those slimes down there? Yeah, it looks like slimes down there. Ooh, there's a ladder over to that watchtower. Okay, this might actually require a couple of couple of loops here from that last set of grace, which is okay. Stone sword key, nice. And yeah, I've got a few enemies coming up, which is okay. Should be able to snipe them, I think, pretty effectively. Spell is doing some good damage. And these are just, okay, 139 with the headshot. Which is a massive improvement. Um, from my testing, the slimes only drop glass shards from what I see. So really, really not worth it. See, this would be a good time for me to... Hmm. Yeah, I was going to put on the dagger that gives me the FP back on critical, and I probably should have, realistically, but, you know, I didn't. Pickle turtleneck. Oh, oh, look at that. Clever. All right, I'm mashing the triggers. Yeah, I can get out of that grab a little bit quicker. And the other one's coming in. Ugh. What do I want to use on you? Probably fire bombs. I have some. And is that going to do... Yeah, that's considerable damage. Still, i got to use two of them. But I should be able to craft some on the fly, I think. All right, the other one went away. Look at this guy. He's actually in a cage. Please help me. I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. I mean, I can... I can think of worse things, I suppose. Actually, I don't know if that's true. That's That's pretty bad. Back up. This is where a short bow would just be so nice. I do want to run a, sh a bow build. A dedicated bow build. I think that will be a lot of fun. I really had a good time doing Dark Souls 3 with bow only. And I'm thinking that this could be even better. Okay, that's just a slime. So I'm not going to worry about you. I'm going to... Ugh. A little bit out of range. I could have put on the arrow talisman. Come on. Come to me. Really? Oh, okay. Well, now I should be getting some headshots, I think. Yep. 152. Nice. Alright. Let's just back up. If I stand up, I can't stand up. <laughs> Ridiculous. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the slime. So this looks like a really, really good spot to be ambushed. Okay, I can drop down. I hear a scarab somewhere. I don't see the shiny. All right. Anything. Let's jump on that table. There we go. No. After Stormvale Castle, now I just don't know where I need to check for extra areas and extra loot. Oh, come on. I think having a bow, though, as a, a side weapon is absolutely key. Being able to thin the herd before they even know you're there is huge. Okay, let's not pretend like we're not going to get attacked here. 
but we might actually not get attacked here, okay? Watch for the smoke and then get out of the, get out of the way. No, we're safe. Twin blade, twin blade. There are twin blades. <laughs> Enhances the final hit of chain attacks. Okay, so I did see that when you do a full combo, which is for most weapons, I think about five hits, it actually does slowly increase in damage if you're within the combo. This enhances the final hit, ending a chain of attacks. The twin blade technique is a tradition of the confessors, who closely guard the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. Thus, is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. Very neat. Very neat. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm not going to be using that too much since I'm not really going for melee right now. At least I'm trying not to. You know, I think actually kind of a Dragon's Dogma magic archer build would be really, really cool. It might be something else to consider. I don't hear... All right, I do hear the twinkling again. I was going to say, I think it's gone. That's an that's a boss arena, right? Okay, that is I think that's just a flask refilling scarab though. Which you know what? Would be cool. I think it's just the health flask though, the crimson. And I don't need that because, well, I am full. However, Okay, let's see. Okay, well, it gave me one back. Yeah, and it was just the Crimson Flask. Tarnished Golden Sunflower. Uh, can I? Looks like I should be able to get up here, right? I don't see a reason to, but yeah, you can kind of get up there. I think maybe I've bypassed some of the castle. And I'm heading towards the boss, whoever the boss may be. I haven't found Arena's father, but then again, he might be the boss, which would be truly unfortunate. But we are, uh, we're still going to explore it. Even if we do end up finding the final boss here, uh, we will certainly go back and explore. Okay, rafters. Another side of grace already. Wow. Wow. Really? Okay. Very generous. Also, at this point, I... I easily could have just rested. Smithing stone level two. Thank you. All right. Just in case you don't know, always tilt the camera all the way down. Then you can typically just walk straight forward. So what do we got? Is it just the one? I don't know if I want. Okay. Oh, no. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay. At least I can get out here. Can I grab this side of grace? Yeah, there we go. Just in case something happens. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know, what? let's try bow. Eh. Uh, good, not great. Three arrows on a rat. And there are multiple rats. Uh, I didn't want to actually use magic, although. Why am I not wanting to use magic, considering I'm at... Oh, you guys are just the worst. Here we go. There we are. Actually, this... um, I could farm a rune arc or two here, given the fact that there are four. All right. Deal with you. What's inside the cell? We got the whip. Oh, really? I also did a whip only run of Dark Souls 3. <laughs> and let me tell you, fighting uh, Madir with a whip only, that was that was an interesting experience. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. It has to kick with it. Let's let's at least see what it looks like, right? Did they change anything with it? Okay. Two-handed. Got the kick. I can guard with it. Oh, the two-hand R1 is very fast. Isn't that funny? I find all these weapons and I don't show the moveset and I find a whip and I immediately do. <laughs> a little bit biased, I suppose. 
Okay, so I can drop. Oh yeah, look, there's actually a there's a foggy telling me straight away that there's a boss. It's actually uh kind of nice. Uh, what's what's considered your back? Not there. There we have it. Oh hey, remember that time you have more health than uh, I realized. Oh. Okay, how about Glenstone Arc? Can I get your bow? I would really like your bow. And an ambush shot. Oh, don't fall down. Actually, let's pull him down with gravity well. See how that works out. Oh, excuse me? It actually opens him up for a critical? That's awesome. That's super cool to know. That's very, very cool to know. All right, now ladder here, leading down to the jellies. I don't know where that other one is. We are going to loop around, look for him, and consider the boss. I guess at this point, I have a nice sight of grace really close. Ooh, nice somber. Thank you. I still can't use torrent, no. Um, interesting. Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, I'm not going to use FP then. Deal with him like that. Great. Okay. I do see that one shiny. Let's run over there, and then we'll give that boss a go. And like I said, we are still going to... Oh, no. <laughs> Strip away flesh. Oh, fire arrows. 15. You know, I actually was practicing fighting these guys, though. But let's, uh, let's do it. Oh, that was terrible. So let's just get over. I'm going to do jumping R2s to try and get a stagger. Come on. Roll out of the way of the spit. Should only be a couple more, I think. Uh-oh. I still haven't found if you can actually get this stagger with that move. You probably can. Uh-oh. Blue. Oh. He actually got one of his friends there. Well, I was trying to show off how I learned to fight these guys. But uh, it's not going well. Now we're going to have to go and rest before we even try to fight this boss. You're just not, you know, this is not heavy enough of a weapon. Oh well. Never mind. That was stupid. <laughs> How about flasks? No? Alright. Sometimes I actually give flasks back. At least they have in Limgrave and the Weeping Peninsula. Right. Well, I suppose it's time. Yeah? Unless there's, nope, there's more over here. You gotta at least have one item if you're going to... <clears throat> Give me a reason to come over here. Right. So is this Arena's father? Oh, and if so, wouldn't that be cool if this was a boss where you actually don't have to fight? Maybe you... Oh, what if they're lightning based? That's gonna stink fighting them in the water. But maybe, maybe, maybe you can actually... Hmm. Yeah, maybe you can uh, give him the letter and not fight him. Leonine Misbegotten. No. No. Okay, Gravity Well. Are you affected by that? Eh. Might be, but you don't even know. Oh, you deal. You just take so much magic damage. Oh, but I'm out of Cerulean Tears. <laughs> How fun. How about Bow? Oh, that's, that's some uh, range closing. Oh, you can definitely dodge arrows. Okay. That's really fun. But possibly with Misery Cord, I can get in behind for a backstab when he does that move. Let's try it. Oh. Or, or, or I have another idea. Panic roll. That sounds like a really fun idea. Come on, I don't even know if I can get a backstab. 
Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, remember the time I still haven't changed my flask of wondrous physics? Uh, I don't... Oh, wow. I don't think I can get a backstab. I want to try again, though. No, because that would have been it. That would have been it. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting with just Misery Cord, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Even though it's not the worst damage, uh, it's not great damage. And I'm not going to get him to be knocked down. Hmm. So what do I want to do here? I have no more. I can do one Glintstone Arc. Gla Gravity Welt, he's absolutely just going to... I could try to parry him. I haven't done a great job at that. Oh, you are just the worst. What do I have for parry shields? Quickly. <laughs> Quickly now. Uh. Oh, good. All right, yep, here we go. Let's parry. I think if he could be parried, I would have just now. Gonna have to give it one more go. Not that one, I'm afraid of that one. That was two-handed. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna be a bad fight with magic. In fact, that's probably gonna be too easy with magic. Maybe I'll go Rapier? Rapier will probably do a really, really quick job. He doesn't have a lot of health. I just went in there ill-prepared as as I do. All right, so let's, let's get rid of that. How about... Ooh, or maybe... Maybe Ice Ride Hatchet. Yeah. Let's do that. We'll, let's try to not even do a summon. I say try like it's going to be overly difficult. I don't think it will be. Nice short run back. Let's Goomba Stomp on a Jelly. Thank you for not being upset about that. Might try to do Carrying Greatsword if we get the opportunity. Alright, we're just going to pop this for the, the added boost it gives me. Oh wait, where are my runes? Okay, run. Oh my. <laughs> I didn't even get the runes. I didn't even get the runes. Come on, this way. I want those. There's a few thousand in there. Okay. Break. Break. No! Once again, taking... Oh. I just wanted my runes. Thank you. All right. Now, let's actually try to go for some damage. Ugh. Or... Good, good damage from that. Oh, heavens. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of that time was spent panic rolling and going after my runes. I think he's going to I think he's going to be susceptible to frost though. So we'll take him out and then yeah. What we'll what we'll be done? What we'll be done with the uh the Leonine Misbegotten. I guess that's what they're called. I keep calling them demi-humans, but I guess these are Misbegotten's. Which is a uh, an interesting name to say the least. Can you? Can you pull a Manus on him? No. Oh, you're smart. Look at, look at from software learning. <laughs> you can't just snipe him from outside the, 
the arena. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that. Oh, nope, not targeting. on some of his attacks. They have a slight delay. Oh. <laughs> have it. Okay. Give me a jump. Not that one. All right, here we go. That's a really good opportunity to heal. How about how about the double the double jump? Wow, 282, that's a lot. Do it again? No? I would like to get a stagger, I think that'd be fun. You know what I need to do though is if I want to do that is two hand the axe. Let's get that ag extra stagger potential. Nice. Oh, hyper armor through that. Hmm. I don't know if he can. Uh... Oh my! No! 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 no. I don't know if he can be uh, staggered. I feel like I would have taken him down by now, right? Watch that delay. Oh, good hit. You know what I'm not doing? It's Warfrost Frost Stomp. Of course. Back up. There we go. Oh, we killed him with the frost. Oh, he actually died while frozen. That was great. Okay. Oh, crafted blade, great sword. I mean, obviously a strength weapon, but it looks really, really cool. 40 strength. Wow. Oath of Vengeance, the storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. Well, okay, so this is a legendary armament, and I've gotten a legendary ash. Weeping Peninsula. Place to go. Sorry if there's beeping in the background. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of war. I didn't even realize that it's made of swords. <laughs> Unique seal, Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, temporarily raising all attributes for a certain duration. While the oath's effects are active, poise will also be increased. Yeah, I know. Oh, look, and I'm overloaded. Wait. It wouldn't even let me wield it? Oh, no, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is a colossal sword. Oh my. So I can, of course, use that. Not surprising, but that's really cool. That is super cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So, with that being said, let's run around. Just about time to wrap up. But definitely feels like a good place to hide a secret or two. Still have to find Arena's father and explore the rest of Castle Morn, which we will do. Nothing, huh? All right, that's fair. That is fair, yeah. We are going to do that, and I think we'll have to do that. So, wait a minute, what's that over there? Is there something on that little island? No, no. Right, well, that's gonna take place next time. Hopefully, it's not too much bigger. Even though it looks gigantic, there's not, I don't think, a lot to explore. Unless I just took the perfect path to get to the boss right away. 
at all these corpses. That's a cool sword, though. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.